super juicy. And I was like, I actually do not have a clue what I am doing. It literally hurts me to even think about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be more of a sit down chat video of my fitness journey. So let's go, let's just jump straight into it. I first started training when I was about 15, I think. My mum, my sister and I, we all decided that we were gonna join David Lloyd and we were gonna, I don't know, my mum really wanted to start getting into shape so I was just like, yeah, why not, let's just do it. Yeah, that's basically where it all started. Um, we stayed there for about two years, I think, but it's just ridiculously expensive. We changed to a different club, which was called PF2 in Worcester at the time. And, um, yeah, I carried on training there. So when I got my job in property insurance, I would work half nine till half five and then I would just drive straight to the gym after work and just train there basically. So even when um, I was at PF2, I never really took it like that seriously training. Um, I would go just because I felt like everyone else kind of went to the gym and I remember looking around the gym, all these other people and I was like, I actually do not have a clue what I am doing. I would then feel self-conscious within myself when I stepped in the gym, that people were looking at me, that I was doing the exercises wrong, they were judging what I was wearing, literally everything. I just used to have such bad anxiety about it. Sometimes it would make me just not want to go. And that is just such a horrible thing to even say now that I used to think about that. But I did and I'm pretty sure any other girl can also relate because people do look at you and people do stare at you sometimes and it's like, what are you looking at? I mean, like, we're all here for the same reason. Everyone is at the gym for the same reason. And I can't, I, it just really irritates me when people do that and judge other people in the gym for what they are doing. Just go over and help them, go and suggest something. You don't have to stare at them like they've just murdered someone. Do you know what I mean? I had this crazy anxiety and because I was working, I was able to create, to make enough money and I was like, I'm gonna get a personal trainer. So I got a personal trainer at PF2 and um, he was literally incredible. Like he was incredible. So the initial reason why I wanted to get, to get a bit more in shape was because for the years I was at David Lloyd and the year that I was at PF2, I hadn't really changed that much and it was really starting to irritate me because I kept thinking I must be doing something wrong there's something wrong with me I just need that extra bit of knowledge and what, ex what more exercises one-on-one -on -one with that person so I can start achieving my goals outside of personal training he personal trained me for either six weeks or eight weeks I can't really remember and another reason why I really wanted to um, have a personal trainer was obviously for the knowledge to take with me um, after our sessions, but also because I was a Miss Great Britain contestant and we had to walk on stage in a bikini, which I did not feel comfortable with at all. So yeah, I just needed that extra push to help guide me into the right direction, basically. So when I went to uni, I was looking around at all the different gyms that were there and there was the DMU leisure like centre thing um, which was an awful gym but for that time for me in my journey it was fine all of my friends went there um, that I was friends with at uni so we'd all go together and train and yeah that was kind of the norm for me things for my fitness journey changed massively when <laughs> it's a bit, bit juicy um, when I went through this awful breakup, like, I mean, awful. I was with him for nearly two years, and, oh, like, when you go through a breakup like that, like, it literally hurts me to even think about it right now with how um, badly I handled it all, but I thought, oh, do you know what, like, it is what it is. I'm going to put everything that I feel and think into the gym and just focus on myself because that just that was the thing that just distracted me from it and coming out of that relationship I really felt like I had to change which I never really should have felt because you should never change for someone because they don't want to be with you anymore. Like I literally thought if I go to the gym and I look amazing and do this whole like revenge body 
um, thing, he's gonna want me back and I'm gonna be fine and whatever. No, like, I could not have been more wrong, guys, I'm not gonna lie. But from that, I was, li I literally went, I went crazy. Like I went the complete other way. I'd wake up at five in the morning, sometimes even half four, so I could get up, get ready, come in, come in, do a spin class, have a shower, make food, and then walk to uni and have a full day of uni. And then after my day of uni, I would then go to the gym again. Like I know some people do that, like that's their life, like you do your cardio in the morning, completely fasted, and then you come and you work out later. I was just doing it all for the wrong reasons, to be honest. Like I was trying to look good for someone else that didn't even want to be with me anymore. So yeah, I was going to the gym seven times a week, no rest. I was doing my degree in dance, so that was a very physically draining degree anyway. And also I would then go to the gym again. Like I look back on myself now and I just think, what were you doing? Like my mental health wasn't good. I wasn't eating right. I was losing ridiculous amounts of weight because I was just so, um, it, <laughs> at, at first I lost a lot of weight, but as it went on, I kind of felt even worse if that makes sense, because my body wasn't getting what it was, what it needed. I was over-exercising. My body was almost like tricking me, like I was gaining weight when I wasn't. And basically at the end of the day, I wasn't doing the things that I should have been doing. That led me to then think, oh, I'm just gonna take this, this extra step further. So then, <laughs> so, so then I was like, well, if I'm not losing weight anymore, like I was at the start, then, I need to be doing more cardio. Like, it actually upsets me that I even thought that. So, moving on, when I was in this phase of being all fitnessy and um, being at the gym, like, literally 24-7, I then went through a massive um, family problem, which I'm not gonna go into detail about because it's a very personal, topic for me to speak about before that issue like um happened I met someone else um in the summer before I went back to uni for my second year he was a bodybuilder he was ridiculously into training he was a personal trainer and that for me spending time with that person I learned so much like about what I should be doing what I shouldn't be doing I wanted to have that knowledge for me and actually, I actually sat back and thought, you know what, I could do that. Like I could, I could personal train and all that. So I decided um, that I was gonna do a PT course. Unfortunately, because of the amount of time, well, the time that I didn't have, I had to do my course online. So for me, that was perfect because I couldn't have taken seven, eight weeks out to do an intensive course, getting it done um whenever i could was the best thing for me to do so that's what i did as i'm doing the online pt course i made sure i woke up at 5 a.m every morning to get done about one and a half to two hours worth of work before going to uni so i would do those two hours every morning and then go to uni and just carry on my day just so i can get through the get through that course and just get it done as quickly as i possibly could and I'm telling you now, waking up at five o'clock in the morning was probably the best thing that I have, one of the best things I've ever done. And it takes a long time, well, it takes a couple of weeks for you to actually get into that like body clock kind of thing. But once you're in it and you wake up at five, the feeling that you get throughout the day is actually incredible. Like you feel like you can do anything. Um, it just made me feel so much more positive. It made me feel um, like I had so much more time to do everything. And because I was doing so much work in the morning, I just had a sense of accomplishment throughout my day that I had achieved something. But it got to about February of last year. I was like, because of the issues that were going on in my family, I genuinely felt like I have never taken a step back and actually just thought about myself and what I want and what's gonna make me happy because I'm very much the kind of person that likes to listen to other people, make sure that they're okay and I'm, I prefer to just put myself second even though 
I shouldn't really ever do that. From my first relationship at the start of this video, which literally broke me, I didn't take enough time to, for myself and actually think and really like properly get over that person. I just literally jumped into another relationship with someone else because I think I have a phobia of being alone, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, it just wasn't the right thing for me to do at that time. And even though from that experience, I've ended up now becoming a personal trainer because I was so inspired by that person. So I would kind of say that like from both of these um, relationship problems, I have 100% found where I want to be now with my career and also with my um, with my career and also within myself because even though we are, me and my family are still going through a lot of um, difficult times, especially now at the moment, from obviously all of these oh, really awful situations, I have gained so much from it, okay? Like, I'm not gonna sit here and brag to you all because it's not really bragging, but my life now is so much healthier and happier than it was three, four, five years ago. Are you knocking on my door? Yeah. Can you <laughs> filming? Yeah. Can I take my pre-workout? Yeah. Okay. You look gorgeous. Thanks. Sorry about that. People normally go to the gym to change. I don't get, I don't know what part of that is untrue. Please, Correct me if I'm wrong. I went to the gym initially to change the way I looked because I didn't think I was good enough for someone. With my clients and my friends and my family, whenever they've gone to the gym, it's because they're not happy with something and they want to change it. And a lot of people do just go to the gym because they love going to the gym, but for me, going to the gym will help you to better yourself and to help you grow. So when I finished my second year, I started to date um, Ben towards the very, very end of it. And I know you probably sat there thinking, Abby, you literally just told me you needed to think about yourself and you've just jumped into another relationship. I know. He just basically helped me um, with the journey that I wanted to go down and really supported me throughout it all. And me and Ben, probably not, not a lot of you know, but me and Ben have been best friends literally ever since we met. Like, we just got on ridiculously well. And I don't know, I've just never had a friendship that me and him have. And the fact that we share the same passion within fitness, he really helped me to develop as a PT, but he also helped me to develop as a person as well. So that's the most mushiest thing I've, I, I didn't say that. So in the space of like, from last year into this year, I've already completed my first cut, which didn't, it was very hard, I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was a cut that was very um, independent. I didn't really um, have help from anybody else. And it was extremely difficult and I gained a whole new perspective on people that do compete and it was also some, something that I had to take into consideration because it's always been one of my achievements to compete at some point in my life. It's not just physically draining, it's a mental um, journey. Everything that I've been on in this journey, every single part of it is to do with my fitness journey before anyone says anything. because. I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for training and my love of training. And I'm just gonna leave you guys with, by saying this is the journey that I've been on. Um, it's probably not the journey you may have anticipated. Um, I just wanna sit here and just say thank you to everyone that has helped me get to where I am today now. That's including those two boyfriends that hurt me and also to all my friends that are just so supportive yeah 
I think that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to give it a thumbs up and also, I don't know why I did too, and subscribe because it really helps support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna go train now.